Hello, my dears. This is Annette, back with another moment for chronic wellness. Thanks so much for being here. The, we are continuing our conversation about how you manage your weight and chronic illness. And I'm continuing my story about my weight journey. And I was at the point where I was closer to a more average size. I was probably in about a 14 when my first autoimmune disease hit and it is called polymyositis and it's a muscle wasting disease and it came on fast and furious and the journey with weight around that is that it it dissolves your skeletal muscle tissue, just wastes it right off of your bone. And in a period that was really short, I think it was maybe three months, I lost 40 pounds of muscle weight. And my wife said that at this point she could watch, she could see that I was losing weight on a daily and weekly basis. And you know, for those that we love and live with, like our kids and our spouses, weight gain and weight loss is so gradual that that's really not a process that you can observe happening that rapidly. And it was alarming. It was like my body was a balloon that just became deflated in the most rapid kind of progression. And of course, the the consequences of losing that much muscle was catastrophic in in my ability to function, my ability to stand, raise my arms above my head, even do things like open a doorknob, roll over in bed, walk. Um, But my, the consequence for my weight was also pretty alarming. I went from being a, a healthy to plus size, you know, sort of 12 to 14 size person to somebody who was really underweight, which had never, ever been my experience. I weighed less than I'd probably weighed since elementary or middle school. I was a waif of a person. I looked like a little walking stick. I looked so alarming. Um, I was wafer thin and um, down to like a size four, which on my frame is not, is not a thing. (laughs) It was, um, it was jarring how quickly and dramatically uh, that weight loss happened. And it happened solely because of my illnesses. So that one it didn't matter how many calories I consumed, I, I couldn't keep or put weight on at the rate that I was losing it. And at that point, I'd been a vegetarian for 20 years and um, just um, part of the markers for that autoimmune disease is that you're wasting creatinine kinase, which is protein just straight out of your body. And so it was clear that I needed to be consuming a lot more protein um, than I was able to get as a vegetarian. So that was also an interesting part of my journey. To be continued. Sound off. Let me know. I want to hear about your stories too. Thanks for being here. And in the meantime, be well.